Hi, and welcome to this how-to video from Catalator.com. Today we're going to go over how to make a poster design with Corel Draw for vinyl cutting. Okay, we're going to start off in Corel Draw. If you want to start off with a new document, you can select File, New, and then choose the size. I'm going to use 24 by 18 in landscape mode. Say OK. All right, I'm going to get my uh, workspace set up. In the Snap To menu up here, I want to make sure I've got Guidelines, Objects, and Page to be set. And then under View, we can also select Alignment Guides, and that'll help us a little bit with our design work. To find the center of the page, I can use Guidelines, so I click on the ruler, I drag, and bring my cursor along the top edge of my document until I see it says midpoint. I then release and the guideline snaps into the midpoint of the document. Same thing with the horizontal guideline. I can click on this ruler at the top, drag, put my cursor over the edge here, and then I see midpoint and I release. Okay, now I'm going to get started with my design. So on the left-hand menu, there are all sorts of different shapes. I want to start off with a basic shape. And so I select that, and then at the top of the screen, I can choose all of these different shapes. So I am going to select this heart, and then click on my document, and I just click and drag. Drag out a heart approximately the size I want. Go back to the pick tool. Pick tool is always your friend if you want to start moving things around. So I now hover over the center here. You can see the center is becoming highlighted. I can click and now I can start moving this around. If I go and hover over the intersection of those guidelines, I can now snap this heart to the center of my whole image. Continuing with my design, I'm going to draw some curves. There's a lot of different ways that you can draw lines and curves in Corel. I'm going to choose a three-point curve here. So I'm going to click on this intersection. I'm dragging. I snap onto that edge on the heart there. And then as I bring my cursor up into the middle of this line, you can see I can play with its curvature. So I'm going to click around there, and I'm going to draw another curve, say from here down to there. Sometimes if it's a little hard to get it to snap to just where you want, uh, but you can generally play around and get it where you need to. If you want to zoom in a little bit, sometimes that works a little bit more to help you with the design. So I'm going to draw another curve here. There we go. It gets it about where I want it to be. OK, I'm going to draw some more shapes here. I'm going to try using some stars. So I click on star. I can play around with the number of points on the star or the angle. If I start click and hold, you can see you can play around with the shape of the star. If I want it to be within a square box, in other words, the height to width ratio is proportional, I can hold down the control key and make my star. And I'm going to make these about that big. And then move it. <clears throat> I might bring down and put a guideline in the center of that star. Now, if I want to copy it, I can select it. I can either go Edit, Copy, and then Edit, Paste, and that pastes another star on top. Or I can go Control-C for Copy, and then Control-V for Paste, and that pastes another star. OK, so I've got three stars. Now, maybe an efficient technique is to select all three, Control-C, for copy, control V for paste. I can 
can bring down another row of stars. <clears throat> Control V for paste gives me another row. And then this time maybe I just want one star to go in the corner there. But this one is use my pick tool and then just select those three stars. And then I can move them over. Maybe I should move this top row up a little bit and just get a little better positioned. There you go. All right. Now I want to add some text to my um, poster design here. So I come over to the text tool, select that, and then to come and click in the middle of the design here. I'm going to select my Go Bold font at 150 points, and I'm going to start writing. Okay, so I just want to sort of get my text there on the design. I can use the text tool to center, but I think ultimately I'm going to do a little bit more change. So when I'm done, just go back to the pick tool, and I can just get it adjusted slightly, object that it was before. One first thing I'm going to do though is go over to the object properties, and I'm going to turn off fill, and I'm going to turn on outlining for the text. Then my next operation, I want to go up to object, and I want to say convert to curves. Now if we look at the object manager, we see we have a curve. Then I want to say object break curve apart, and now I've got all of these as individual curves. So I think the stand up here, I will group that back together again. So I select those letters and then I hit Control G for group. And with this four, I can also select all of that and hit Control G. And science, <coughs> I will hit Control G again. Okay, that now allows me to, say, pick up the science, and maybe I might want to make it a little bit bigger, like this. Same thing with the stand-up. Select that, and then I'm going to move it over, and then just get this still don't have it in the right place so I'll select it I can also use the arrow keys to move it around <clears throat> okay so now I've got my um, text sorted out where I'd want it so the way I'm going to make this poster is I'm going to fill in the heart here um, as one color and then the stripe um, is going to be a separate color. And then finally, the field of stars will be a third color. This means I actually need three separate cutting operations. So I'm going to start by putting a new page into my document. Go back to page one here. And I'm going to select everything. Once again, Control C for copy. Go over to this page, Control V for paste. Now I'm going to work on this piece right here. So my outside heart shape here is also, it's called a perfect shape. It's a Corel Draw object. So I'm going to go to Object, Convert to Curves. I want to get rid of these stars, so I select them. Hit the delete key. <clears throat> I don't want this curve. Um, now I want to be able to trim this side of the heart off. So I'm coming up to the crop tool and then I use this virtual segment delete, which is one of Corel Draw's 
hidden secrets. And so I can click, and I can click, and it goes and cuts that heart shape, and I can get it all tidied up. Now I also can come and find the intersection between these letters and that heart shape. So now, when I actually go and cut that object out, I will have the one shape with the letters um, standing out on it. All right, so I'll work on my next shape, create another page, come back, go back to my pick tool, select everything again, control C for copy, come over to page three, control V for paste. I'm gonna work in the middle here. Once again, I'll come back to this curl object here. I'll go object, convert to curves. And this time, using the virtual segment delete, I'm going to cut away all that part of the heart shape and get rid of it all. Um, I don't need a lot of these letters, but this is still grouped, so I need to hold down Control U for ungroup. Uh, the fork can go away. I'm going to need a little bit of that E on that science there, so Control U for ungroup again. This time I can select all of those letters, hit delete, get rid of them, select all of those. And with the stars, I can get rid of them as well. I can also select things from my object manager menu on the right hand side here. And now I hit the delete key and get rid of them. All right, now we can use our trusty virtual segment delete to start cleaning up and finding the intersections here. And what I'm doing is I'm just clicking on the line segments that I want to get rid of. When the knife goes vertical, that means that it will cut. Nope, I did the wrong thing there. So I need to undo. This is the side I want to get rid of, and that there. If you ever get lost, undo is a good place to come, and you can actually see the list of the operations that you've done, so you can actually select the actions that you would like to undo. Anyway, now I've got the second piece sorted out. I'm going to create another page. Go back to my page one. Select everything. Control C for copy. Come over to page four. Control V for paste. Sometimes it just Needs a little bit of work to get the image into the right place in the screen here. Okay, I'm not going to actually need any text for this final piece, which is the stars up here. But once again, I'll need to select that heart object and come up, convert it to a curve, and now use virtual segment delete to get rid of all of the parts that I don't want. Okay, and now I've got my final piece here. So these three parts will make up the poster that I'm going to cut. Thanks for watching and I hope you found this video useful. You can find out more information about what we do at our Facebook page on our Instagram feed and our Pinterest page. There's lots of cool pictures and interesting projects for you to see there. Thanks and see you soon.